Hey again, Darren here with another Weisspark weekly video bringing the latest tips, tricks, and tools to help you increase your Google rankings and drive more customers from local search. In this video series, I just do a quick short video on one specific topic or strategy or a tip in local search. So if you're new here, subscribe to the YouTube channel or if you're reading on the blog post, uh, sign up for our email newsletter down below and you'll get not notified of new episodes that come out every week. So I don't know if you saw the news, but uh, Google is going to be bringing back the description field to Google My Business. So uh, Mike Blumenthal reported on this recently. Uh, let's get back over here. So uh, he wrote this blog post. Uh, it was based, originally reported by Dave DeGregorio on Twitter. And so he had seen this. So I guess it's in the wild already uh, in, in testing. So. It's pretty crazy that they're bringing this back. You can see some pictures of it. This is how it looks when you're editing it uh, from the business. You can kind of see um, that it has up to 750 characters. That's a departure. The old, the old, old one was 200 characters. Then they increased it to about 4,500 characters. In this new iteration, it'll have 750 characters to play with. Um, this is how it looks like in the dashboard and then on the front end when you're looking at a knowledge panel in search you'll see this uh, from the business owner here where they describe the business so uh, that's pretty interesting and we also know it's coming for sure this is pretty good sign that it's definitely coming it's because Google has updated their uh, Google my business guidelines and they have a new section here for business descriptions so basically they say that published content should highlight what makes the business unique uh, you can use this field to provide useful information on services and products offered, as well as the mission and history of your business. That's a pretty good description of what you should use that field for. What you should not use the field for is don't be misleading. Don't say you are the number one plumber rated in all of uh, North America, if that is not true. Um, don't display low quality, irrelevant or distracting content, gimmicky character use. So I guess they don't want, uh, they don't want emojis, uh, gibberish, etc. Focus on special promo. Don't focus on special promotion prices and offers or or sales. Like hey, everything is fifty percent off. No links. That's new. Actually, they used to allow links in the uh, description field when it was in the Google Plus local dashboard. Don't display any offensive or inappropriate content, and don't display any unpermitted content. So it's interesting. Why why did they take it away in the first place? And why are they bringing it back? So I think the answer to why they're taking it away is because the field was just abused and spammed and people would just stuff it with keywords. Uh, I once saw a case where it was like, I can't remember the exact, but it was like Plumbers Denver repeated 50 times. So people are just thinking that, you know, if you stuff your keywords into that field, it's gonna help you rank. Uh, we actually know that it won't help you rank. Um, Mike Blumenthal does a couple posts on the description field back in 2013. So in October 2013, where someone had asked, is there any uh, benefit to varying your description across your citations? He addressed this and he says, you know, that uh, he talks about how little Google cares about the description because basically they were burying it in, uh, in Google+. And then he also mentioned that uh, Googler Joel Headley at a local U event noted that these business descriptions are not used in the rankings and should be thought of as the business's elevator spitch. This is directly from Google. They had said at the time that it's not used in rankings. Now, with this new iteration that, that I suppose is up for debate, but considering they never used it for rankings in the past, it seems unlikely to me that they will use it again in the future. And they also wrote another post. Someone had asked, like, how long should my description be? Um, and again, he talked about how uh, the description is not being used in rankings. Um, so what should you do? What's the best way to set up this description? The, uh, I actually talked about this at a presentation I gave in 2013. It was all about optimizing uh, Google plus local at the time. So I've re revived some of those slides and uh, I wanted to kind of go through them with you. So again, it's not using the ranking algorithm. There's no point in stuffing it. Um, with keywords. In fact, if you do stuff with keywords, you could potentially get your listing flagged for spam. So it's like a spam detection field um, if you uh, do a whole bunch of it. It's not, it's not going to cause any benefit if you stuff it with keywords. It could potentially cause a penalty. So don't keyword stuff. Uh, no all caps content. I had heard back in the past where people put like stuff in all caps, like you're shouting. That could get the listing suspended. I had seen that happen in the past before. 
Um, the way you should look at this field is you should imagine that the business doesn't have a website and the only information you can provide to your customer about your business is that description field. It's your pitch. You're trying to sell, you know, uh, sell them on the benefits of your business. Um, give the copies. This is a recommendation I made in the past. Based on those screenshots, it doesn't look like this is going to be an option anymore. I don't think they're going to have like the ability to add bold, italics, and bullet points. But I haven't seen it rolled out yet, so that's a question mark. Chances are they're not going to provide that because it wouldn't show up in the knowledge panel anyway. So I think that's going to go away. You won't be able to add bullet points. And then I also, back in, back in the day, I just recommended having some links because that's a good opportunity to link them to relevant uh, sections of your website. That is definitely going away. It's directly in the guidelines. It's not going to be there, so uh, don't you can't do that. Um, you could probably add URLs in the description, but don't do that. Um, and now remember, it's not used in the ranking algorithm. It is used to detect spam. So you might want to consider even hiring a copywriter to write an original, entertaining, and enticing Google description. You know, you're selling your business. Don't do this. Just like a short little one-liner. That feels like a waste of wasted opportunity. Uh, do this. I think this might actually be a bit excessive now with the new 750 guidelines. And also, I wouldn't suspect that if it's being put into the knowledge panel, you're gonna, it's going to display all that. So you're probably going to shrink this down to maybe one paragraph that really is your elevator pitch for the business. That is probably the best way to go forward. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that uh, um, gives you some guidelines on what you're going to do with this description field. Just remember, it's not used in ranking. Don't spam it. Use it to pitch your business. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you next week.